So we're going to begin. If you for <laughs> If you forgot where we are, we are currently in the training hall in the town of I have to look at this map to see it Kalaman. Uh because we recently went to go after Sebus. Sebus was no longer around. His candle had been blown out. And I think his candle is what caused him to be kept safe in the illusionary doorway thing. But we found an earring that we recognized belonged to the lady that lives in the house up here. <clears throat> City Commander Knights of Salon. Dane's company meets you. What news? Do you show him the earring? Yes. Dane listens quietly as you tell of Sebus. He bids his major guard them. He takes the earring down the hall. As you wait, the may mayor speaks. This is recorded as journal entry 46. Thank Paladine, Paladine you've come. Some of us have had suspicions for some time. Lately, even some knights have disappeared without trace, but we lacked proof of her dark intent. She told Dane she had gone to Cerberus to visit her older sister. She goes there quite often. She will be furious at being deceived. Um... Putting that down. 46. Info... From Mayor. Okay. What did the book call it? Major Thames Speaks. Oh, it's Major, not the Mayor. <laughs> Info from. Hold on. Major Thames. <laughs> Suddenly a man shouts in agony Dane! I'll rush forward. Aurelia stands over Dane, I guess. Curse you, I was almost fond of him. AIDS. She issues orders. This is recorded as journal entry 25. Almost fond of him. I didn't really love him. I was just using him, is what it sounds like. Ariella instructs her to her servants. You three, take our captive at once to our mistress, K Kitiara. Oh. So Kitiara is... I'll explain her in a second. Perhaps he will tell her his secret. Do not let Soth's warriors take him alive. Hurry now. Be gone. The rest of you, assume your true forms and teach these meddlers a lesson. Uh, so Kitiara is a dragon rider? I think it's... I don't remember what their official term was. I think it was the dragon rider. Um, they work for the evil armies, obviously. Kitiara is actually the half-sister of Karamon and Raislin. And was supposed to have been one of the original adventure part of the original Heroes of the Lance. But she never showed back up when they all <clears throat> There's a whole story in the very, very beginning where basically they had all been together when they were younger, like in their early twenties or something, or even a little bit younger than that. <clears throat> and they all decided that to split up, go their own way for a, a, a few years, basically. I don't remember what the time frame was, but it wasn't that it wasn't super long, but it wasn't also super short. They went their own ways for a few years to resolve certain things, find out things about themselves, go and discover things on their own, just adventure, basically. And then they ended up going back to the town of Solus. That's what it was called, the town of Solus, which was also in the tree, giant tree. Um, and they met at the Inn of the Last Home, which is the name of the inn slash tavern. And they were all supposed to get back together at that point. Kitiara was the only one that never showed back up. When they later find her, they found out that she had fallen in with the evil armies and she had become one of their main dragon riders. She's actually one of the main contacts for Lord Soth in the books. Um, so the fact that she's mentioned, well, we already know what Ariella's intent is. And considering what she looks like, I'm going to say she's a dragon. She's a dragon. Male leads Durfee. <clears throat> At least they are just Civax. Here's Civax. There's a lot of Civax. Holy shit, how many did she have in this house? It's not like I got rid of all the servants, made all Civax. Civax have been making our best meals on a daily basis. Um. I don't know if this is going to be pulled off in time. Cast. Fireball. 
get the spellcasters preferably. As much as I would love to hit the Sivax, uh, the spellcasters are always our biggest concern. Ooh, nice. Okay, so 37 is the main fireball. If it hits fully. Don't get in Dayan's way, dear god. He's our other mage. I want to hit the the knights if I can. Everyone but Gim will end up getting it for sure. Gim's next to an enemy anyways. Why didn't Helene get it? Was she out of the range? Cast. Fireball! Delay your turn. I mean, sure. Where's the body? We need the body. I think it's because it's. Oh, goody! I get to control Durfee. The doorway is packed with knights. <laughs> and. The draconian's dead already? Yeah. <laughs> They're all dead. Alright. Next step! 60 points of damage. He definitely didn't need that. Delay Durfee's turn. Oh my god, these knights. Delay. <laughs> one is the most hit points? 2936. That one. Exit. Okay. Annual. Uh, exit. Exit. Move down here. Okay. That's where Gim's gonna attack. Out of points? Not with that weapon. <clears throat> I don't know if the knight attacked or not. I don't think so. Oh, I ended her turn anyways. Never mind. <clears throat> Stop it. That was from behind, so that was the backstab. Oh, well. Doesn't really matter. <clears throat> we have so many knights and everything, and Durfee's here to help us. I'm kind of surprised Durfee's sticking with us for so long, honestly. Oh, no, don't attack him. Durfee! Ah! There. End. 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 Wait, there's another guy? Motherfucker. I didn't even know he was there. Delay. The knights are just everywhere. There. Okay. Now we gotta backstab. End your turn. Why does he always miss? Backstab! Got 60 points of damage in a backstab. 4,506 experience. Do we get any treasure? Sort of. Detect. Take. Motherfucker. 
Super Lord. You can't take the dart. What are you carrying? 107 darts. Holy shit, he's got 1,371 steel. Okay. Drop 1,000 steel. Why is everyone carrying so much steel on them? Exit. There's still treasure left. Do you want to go back to Claybridge? No. Major Thames takes charge. Watch her. I'll secure the area. The knights go. Before your eyes, Ariella transmogrifies. Yep. Oh, mother foggy god. Lightning bolt. Bounce back! Bounce back! Damn it. Oh, you know what? Put down the sword and the shield to get the dragon lance out. How much damage are we gonna do to this bitch? 131. <laughs> Continue battle? No. 1092 experience. Take. What does she have on her? Elixir of youth! <gasps> Fail. You could become an old lady through, uh... It allows you to gain some years back after you've spent years on being... Can we make your... How old would she be if we took it right now? <laughs> Exit. There's still treasure left. Do you want to go back and claim your treasure? Yes. What is there? Oh. You know what? Five hundred. Add to it. She's got. She's got so little movement. Drop four hundred. She's got nine more. Drop three hundred. <laughs> now she's got her full complement. She's got his full complement. Him. Drop nine hundred. Now Gim's got his full complement. Drop one thousand. No, <laughs> Grimble. Okay, Helene, drop one thousand. Drop one thousand. <laughs> Six thousand. <000. laughs> So there was like a pile of gold of steel money that just appeared after we killed the dragon and they're all like, oh my god, are you guys going to take it? And you just watch my adventures go up and they're all like, money, and just add it to the pile. <laughs> Exit. There's still treasure left. You want to go back? No! Congratulations, the party gains Experian. Spot something. This recorded as journal entry 32. Um... The object is a heavy metal key, embellished with loops and swirls. The barrel is shiny from long use. Inset in the key's handle is the word Denissa, set in flowing feminine script. Uh, hold on. You know what I never did with this one, with this map? Draw the edges. Oh my god, why? I think it's because when I found this map, I was getting really tired. Like, by the time I had gotten here, I was so tired of, like, running around trying to figure out where things were. I just wanted it to move forward. Because this game, while I, while I appreciate everything they've done to it, especially compared to the rest of it, um, dear God, there's so many points where we're just not <laughs> moving forward with the story and we're doing other shit. And I'm just like, wh why? Okay. So what is this? Journal Entry 32? This is about a key found key. What is it? What is it? <clears throat> a cry to the southwest. Southwest. Uh, but I wish to go through all the doors in the house. 
an empty cell. Sivax. Fail beat Zerfi. I love how I read that as load Zerfi. How many Sivax are there? I hear there's so many Sivax. Uh, delay your turn. Cast. Go back here and cast. A storm. Delay your turn. Target. Eight. Oh, goody. I'm so glad that we've hit for this little amount. Ah, uh, yes, the ice, ice storm to end all ice storms. Thank God. There's another one. They're all down to one hit point. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, man. Stop it. That was unnecessarily over the top. Oh, because there's the two that were down below that we didn't actually get to. Durfee! Uh, uh, will Durfee get a chance to move and to do anything? Uh. Killed one. Can't move anymore. Oh, they're surrendering. <laughs> There's no surrendering. Yeah. <laughs> Durfee gets two attacks per turn. Party is won. Each character receives two thousand experience points. A cry to the west. Here yells as cloth rips further on. Head the fabric wall is slashed open. Sellers here have fled, strewing trinkets. You hear yells as cloth rips further on. Yep. Holes lead west and south. South. At left, the fabric wall is slashed open. Head, the fabric wall is slashed open. Don't know where they went. Head, the fabric wall is slashed open. At left, the fabric wall is slashed open. Ariella's troops hold a man. away, get out your sword and shield so that we have stupid high defense. Get here, delay your turn. I don't know if it's worth, it is worth throwing fireballs to. Uh, cast. Fireball! Ow! Oh. Delay your turn. Ow. God, there's so much happening while she's casting. Um. Delay your turn. Manual. Yeah, that's a pretty good spot. It's not the greatest amount of damage, but it's pretty damn good. in the bazaar where there's people around if we're just, like, letting fireballs loose. Um. Stop. Yeah. You missed. Motherfucker! 
Kim, you're gonna backstab the Civac. Ugh! That wasn't a backstab. How much life do you guys have? 10, 42. You have one. I, I want to get rid of you. What? Does Brimble know how to hit anything? I mean, super cereal? Hey, guys. <laughs> You're a bats or eyes in your general direction. Man. Ow! Ow! Good job, Durfee. Delay. 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 Attack! Delay. Backstab! 48 points of damage. <laughs> Didn't you battle? No. 4,986 experience. Take. What do you have? Doesn't look like. Oh, but there's extra stuff in there that we don't normally see. Detect. Take. I have a feeling the bracers and the quarter staff are shit. I think these are armor class six. We'll take one of them. The banded male I'll give to Helene. The captive is not Sebus, but a young man. He asks, are you named Fail? Yes. Message for you. It's not like I was just the postman and they took me. Journal entry 36. I was following some suspicious men when they suddenly grabbed me. Turns out they were Ariella's spies and they locked me up at the commander's house. Soon they brought another man and a bleak looking chap. Looked half dead. They chained him up too and left us a while fellow whispered to me, I must trust you to deliver a message for me. He specified you by name. This was the message, that the key to Soth's doom is the Rod of Omniscience. This fellow found it and hid it in a place called Voice Wood. He said you must go to Dulcimer in order to get there. I think he wanted to say more, but then the Civex returned and hustled us off into the bazaar. Someone was chasing us, so the Civex split into two groups. I guess the group holding this fellow, Sebus, managed to escape. Um... Rod of Omniscience? Is that what he ended up finding? What the hell is a Rod of Omniscience? I'm gonna look it up. Rod of Omniscience. It's from Dragonlance. It's a powerful artifact. Legend has that if L Lauren Soth had placed this item in the hands of the King Priest of Istar, the Cataclysm could have been prevented. Oh, that's right. Soth dates back to before the Cataclysm. During the Age of Might, the rod was located deep in the Dargard Mountains. The rod was placed inside a coffer with the inscription of, He who removes this artifact from its resting place shall replace it with his soul on the lid. Inside the coffer was a purple bag containing five separated pieces of the rod and the 13 golden circlets. Okay, and 13 golden circlets. Five pieces of the rod are the same colors as the chromatic dragons. White, black, green, blue, and red. So it's... There's no stats for it. It's all story-based. And it's specific. The, the rod of omniscience is very specific to Dragonlance. Uh, so, journal entry 36... <clears throat> Info from former captive about Rod. Your Rod. He teaches a chant that will help you in Dulcimer. Oh my god, I was wondering about this. I was wondering about this. So the funny thing is, we've already dealt with Dulcimer. 
The, the, the lich is dead. The undead are dead. <laughs> All we have to do is go walk in. Congratulations, the party gains experience. <laughs> All right. You can't fix <clears throat> magic. We're just resting. Nine hours and 15 minutes. We're gonna go to the temple and we're gonna um, see what this stuff is. Save, see, exhaust now, exit. Can I have a magic shop? I don't know if a magic shop it makes a lot of sense anyways. So Dragonlance was canonically, whatever term you wanna use for it, canonically. It's a low fantasy setting. So magic was present, known about, but people didn't go pew 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 magic all over the place like they do in 5th edition. Um, <clears throat> need healing, yes. But at the same time, I kind of wish they gave us a way to get a hold of some of these spells other than what we have been dealing with. Didn't he have a scroll? Yeah, but we've already had him here. Identify this. Dart of Hornet's Nest. Ooh. So we only have one of those. Okay. If you don't remember, we throw that and I think it turns into like 20 odd darts. So there's 20 chances to hit. ID, armor class six. <clears throat> Board staff plus one, drop it. Drop it. Your uh, gim. Oops. Shit. Healing, yes, technically. Rimble items, nothing. Lean, I uh, view items. ID. Drop it. ID. Banded plate mail plus two. Drop it. Twenty-three. Brimble is fifty-two. Brimble's Kender. Gim seventy-nine. Leor is three hundred fifty-one. Dan is thirty. Come again soon. So we're gonna go in camp. Save C. View items. She's what right now? Twenty-six. Ready use. She becomes younger. How much? She she get she she de-aged four years. Save C, quit the DOS now, exit. <laughs> so the elixir, of the elixir of Youths were... It was essentially, hey, do you want this item? Because now you can use uh, taste a little bit more often. Train, yes. Train, fail. Level 14. Fail is now at her maximum level. If she gets drained by undead, we don't care. We will power on through it, and we will uh, get her restored at a temple. Brimble will become a level 10 cleric. Dear fucking god, it takes him forever to level. Does he get... Let me see. I'm hoping he gets a normal hit point roll does not. You wish to train, yes. Congratulations. Congratulations. She has 59 hit points. Still under our mage. <laughs> Motherfucker. <clears throat> Begin adventuring. Come again soon. Oh, I'm wondering if we want to go back here. Gang stops you. Oops, our mistake. They hurry up. City Commander Knights of Salomnia. Is there anything in here now? Zara is back to normal. I'm doing it this way because I don't want to. Teller pushes a cart crowd surger around you. Knights on patrol, thanks. Oh, fucking god. Knights on patrol! Hello, flu of friends. I smell a divine drink from Hilo. 
area. Oh, that's why. He's stuck in here. Pretty mates offer sweets and small talk. Okay, uh, we have small talk, even though everything was exploding and people died here a bit ago. But we're fine now. Alright. Exit and camp. Magic memorized. <clears throat> because he now has some more slots. So we're going to give him... He has a fourth level slot. What does he currently have as a fourth level? Cure serious wounds, sticks to snakes. Get rid of it! <laughs> Helene still has six to stake. She can keep one. But it has not worked at all. Plus, I want to get protection of evil 10 foot radius. And then this one. Give him one more cure critical wounds. Actually. Yeah, no, it's fine. Rest. Nine hours and 15 minutes. <clears throat> I was going to give him Dispel Evil, but I don't know what you use it on. Like, it's supposed to be any summoned. Or extra planar creature, but we haven't really dealt with any of that. Sticks to stakes, the most useful spell. Which is better, death spell or sticks to snakes? That's the ultimate question for the dark one. We are we're gonna be ending this and switching over to a story for the unbound. Leave Kalamon, yes. You're outside the city of Kalamon, do you enter? No. Spot a strange looking town. Do you enter? Here's Dulcimer. From the west, you smell rotten vegetables. I love how it does this every single time. Like, like, like we haven't been here already. Let's see. Dosno. Actually, I'm going to do in camp save B. Dosno. Exit. Poof. Dulcimer is empty. We know. Through this gateway lies Voice Wood, where no evil may trespass. Enter Voice Wood, yes. I don't remember what the... <laughs> to have entered Voice Wood. Plants and trees seem to shift before your eyes, presenting a bewildering array of pathways. Shit. Through this arch you see the town of Dulcimer. Do you enter? No. Okay. So, Voice Wood is going to be a whole separate... My god, I literally have just made it to where I have I, I should I don't think I have a way to show this. Um Anyways, I have so many maps for this one. I've never had this many maps for any game before that we've done on this. M maybe with Pools of Radiance we might have. Let me see. Hold on. Uh so EOTV. I don't remember EOTV. Pool of Radiance. Oh, I had a lot for Pools of Ra Radiance, actually. We have the Civilized District, Slums, Kuda's Well, Mender's L uh, Library, Textile House, Potal Plaza, Wilderness, Stojanow Gate, Sokol... Yeah, so Pools of Radiance, we had a hell of a lot. I don't remember having this much for the other one. Secrets of the Silver Blade. What was the other one? Curse of, um... Here's Curse. So we had a decent number of... Maps for Curse of the Azure Blades, but it's not as many as we've had. It's not as many as we currently have. Champions of Kryn... We had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We literally only had 12 maps I made. To give you an example, Death Knights, we currently have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Voicewood is map 16. We're already four extra maps over the previous game. Maybe that's partly why that game felt so bad. Beyond that, the, like all the maps were like squares. And we're not getting just squares here. Okay, so first things first, we're heading... Excuse 
west back to town. Yeah. The other side, you see the town is also empty. Then pretty much. Okay. So I'm gonna put bip, bip, bip. I believe there's a. To Dulcimer. I'm actually thinking maybe we should stop here with this. Only because, as much as I want to go further, mapping this is going to be a small nightmare comparative to. If you enter, yeah. You enter Dulcimer through the eastern door. Okay. I think what we'll do is we'll stop playing this here today because I have a feeling we're going to have to map out voice wood and I don't want to get stuck in the middle of what could potentially be a magical maze of some sort and mapping it while we're doing this. So we'll pick this up again next time.